Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Boynton Beach, Florida. And today's video is another review I have. Uh, and just as a disclaimer, uh, the products were sent uh, to me free of charge uh, by the supplier uh, to do a review on it. And so it's a paid endorsement. However, I'm gonna give you an honest review. I am a new owner of a 2024 RV uh, travel trailer and there's no washer and dryer, and there's no dishwasher. But uh, this company uh, reached out to me, Hava, and said we have a dishwasher, a countertop dishwasher, that we'd like to send you if you could do a review for us, and maybe others out there might like our product. I said, I'd be happy to do it, because I could use a dishwasher. So let's get it unboxed, let's see what it's about, let's see if it's worth getting, and how much it costs. Okay, so this is what we get so far. I uh, took all the tape off inside they have everything packed up as well and there's a little oh look at that very nice so the packaging was excellent and now we're going to take out these items here and we'll find out what it's all about I'll be right back with you all right we've got it all put together and i'll tell you this is really hard to mess this one up this is about as easy as it gets folks uh, what they provide for you is a magnetic door that seals they tell you not to open that at all when they um, dishwasher is running. Duh! It slides out very nice and easy. You can even totally remove it if you want. And it goes right on this little track there with the wheels. Uh, this is for some coffee cups. And then uh, you can also put it up and make room for something else. And you have your plates and there's the silverware. Now you think these little holes here, you can do that or you can just actually remove. Uh, let me show you. Sorry about that. You can take the, um, the top off, like I've got, and this little piece right here on the side actually clamps right on. So now you have some silverware you can put. And if the dishes are in the way, you can just put it right over here. It also goes over here. So you, it's really, you know, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, you can't mess up because they give you this little water jug here, and it says that it is... Um, 1.8 liter top is the full or yeah 1.8 liter it's not in american <laughs> so i don't know what 1.8 liter is but this is what you can do you got some plates some saucers there's a wine glass there some coffee cups and you can even place them below and the cups will sit here and uh what you do is you this is a fruit basket that's been provided if you want to wash some hard skin fruit, place that in there like that, and you can do that. Now, I don't know how many people like to do that, but there it is. And the dishwasher part is pretty cool. So you just put everything in there, close it up like such. Uh, you just take this off right here, and you fill the water. It's full. Pour it in there. It gets you a pre-measured amount. And this has some little tabs there. Uh, that you can just find that go in here. And that seals, and that's not going to come off. And then the two hoses, the way it works, is you have your plug right here. And uh, they provide this hose here with a, a suction cup that you could, uh, you know, hold to where the drain go. They have an elbow piece here. So let me just show you. I'll, I'll lean it forward like that and so that's where that goes and then you have a little clamp hose right there and you clamp that on and everything sits nice and all right I have it all set up here in my RV and I have enough counter space up here in my front kitchen of my Flagstaff 25 foot uh, camper and we're going to go ahead and oh it has a blue light look at that isn't that handsome I didn't even expect that. We're gonna go ahead and run the dishwasher um, on a trial. And I am gonna be using the um, drain hose, but not the water hose. The drain hose comes right around. There's a little suction cup on here. And let me tell you, it's not going anywhere. It's on there very nice. I gave it a little lick, you know, got it wet on the back. And now that's facing right down in my sink here. And to give it a little extra security, I have 
this right there. So that's going to not be an issue of water going anywhere. And we're going to uh, turn the power on right here. And you can see it says normal. Uh, let's take a look at the features. It says normal. Uh, speed wash, we're going to do that maybe. Mode, speed, mode, soft, baby care items. And then there's the fruit. Let's go back through again. There's a dry cycle. And I won't be using that. Uh, to save energy but I guess it has a heat cycle and there is a normal and the time changes notice that uh, from the different modes so you have 59 minutes on that one 89 minutes on baby care and 19 minutes on fruit 60 minutes on a um, on the drying normal and I'm gonna go to speed for only 29 minutes we're gonna add the water it talks about when you put the water on and hit start, uh, if there's not enough water, there'll be a light that'll come on red. I read it all up here. And what we'll do is, uh, it takes 1.3 gallons of water. So if you have a spigot, which I do not have, or you can use a garden hose, or you simply add the water with the provided, um, you have the owner's manual here. And I'm gonna go back through that again and find out how many of these I have to put in. Uh, the fruit bowl, I'm telling you, I don't know about washing my fruit in a dishwasher, uh, but the dishwasher uh, for, the, for the dishes with the light on there, that's pretty cool. And like I said, this is movable anywhere uh, over back here. Fits back there, back over here, right there with a little clip. We're just going to place it right there right now. So you can put all your uh, handles down first and then the knives and things can stick up uh, to hold them or you can just simply remove uh, this piece right here. I'll show you there's a little tab to pull that off and just stick your silverware right in there if you'd like. That's what I generally do with a dishwasher. But we're gonna put all the parts back on there and uh, like I say, this is the fruit bowl. But we're going to, um, Go ahead and add some water and turn on a speed wash, see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't make a mess, and I'll give you the results when it's all done. I will show you a video when it's uh, operating as well. Okay, so I will be supplying my own water uh, because I'm not going to be using the hose. I have it tucked away in the back. It's a nice hose. You can connect it to a water hose, or if you have a spigot in your house or RV, you can simply do that. But what the instructions are when you're supplying your own water is you would use about three of these uh, or five liters, 1.3 gallons. Uh, you open the water tank lid, which is right here. I took the lid off and you simply uh, add uh, water. And when the tank is full, three beeps will be heard. Uh, if, there's, if there is uh, no need to add more water during the washing process. Uh, if the water tank is not full, when you start the cycle, a red flashing light shortage indicator with a little water um, icon will appear and display the panel and a buzzer will beep. When the water tank is full, a white water mode indicator will appear. So before any wash cycle starts and the machine detects water tank is full, it will automatically use the water supply from the tank. This is important right here. Uh, to drain the water tank by hand, Pause the wash cycle and press and hold both dry button and power at the same time for three seconds. If the water tank will not uh, be used for a long time, it is recommended to empty the tank water. Uh, the system will automatically check for water supplies. If the red water shortage light is on, uh, you will need to fill the water tank to the, with the faucet or with the, with the little bucket here. Uh, once the water tank is full, the machine will automatically start the wash cycle. And then in the beginning, it talks about reminder. If the machine is being used for the first time and has not been used for a long time, insufficient water flow will, may occur. Uh, when the water tank is filled due to trapped air in the machine's water pipe system, which prevents the water from flowing into the machine interior, in this case, you slightly shake the machine five or six times to exhaust all trapped air. This will ensure a smooth water flow. So you could just, 
you know, like that right there. So let's go ahead and put three, uh, three of these in, five liters of water. Uh, start our um, speed mode and 29 minutes and see what we got. All right, let's just, uh, actually I'm gonna pull it out away from the wall. I'm working with one hand here by myself. Let's go ahead and, it's a very, uh, it's not very heavy, but it's a very solid, very handsome uh, piece of machinery here. So uh, let me just move it forward. So you can see I have it plugged in back there to my uh, wall. And let's go ahead and grab the first tank of water and see if we can get up here and fill it. Goes right in with no problem. No fuss, no muss. I got a feeling this thing's going to work really well because, I mean, that's a lot of water for a small dishwasher. Runs on 950 watts, if I didn't mention it already. Little markers right here. We're going to do three of these. This is number two. Let's go ahead and put it in. I'm sorry I don't have any dirty dishes to uh, do it, but if we can tell if it's going to be a good dishwasher. That's a lot of water in there. <laughs> Hope I can get it out. This is the last one. It says uh, one point, uh, we saw it earlier, 1.8 liters. Three of these is how many liters? Two, four, six. So we probably don't need all of this one. Uh, 1.8 and 1.8 is, I should have been doing it more mathematically, right? I need five liters. So two of them is uh, 3.4, 5.4.4. I'm going to just put half in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if the light comes on and tells us, you know, we need more water. Let's just go with that amount right there and give it a try. Let me just uh, wipe up this little bit of excess water. And let me wipe, wet my, my sponge. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and now, let's also go ahead. Uh, it says use any detergent you want. I do have a dirty dish here. I do have a dirty dish. And who is it? It's Sarasota Tim. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, folks. I appreciate it. So we pull this out. And will that fit up there? No. So we put it in down here. And it fits fine. We're going to have a clean Sarasota Tim coffee mug for a nice cup of coffee when we're done. All right. It looks like we're ready. We'll put the lid back on. Give it a good... Um, seal yeah that's not coming off and uh, start that thing will spin around we'll be able to watch everything that's kind of cool I don't see any lights do I do it again what did it say is it waiting or something? I don't see where it says I'm lacking of... Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, it says lacking of water. Let's add more water. Definitely needs more water. Pretty smart little machine. Let's try it now. Oh, yeah, the light went out by itself. No, nope, it's still there. Wow, still says it needs more water. Oh, there it goes. It knows. Look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm really impressed, folks. This is pretty cool. Is, is, there's the uh, white light that says that we have plenty of water now. Look at that. Can't wait to see it go. 
from the 29 minute wash, I got the, look at this. What's he doing? This is our drain hose. We want to make sure that's, that's good. I'm not going to leave this thing unattended. You definitely want to make sure you have uh, that, you know, wedge down. Wow! Look at it go! All right, we're going to come back and see what happens. All right, everybody, I just finished the uh, wash cycle. It went into a dry mode, and I didn't want it to dry, so I let it dry for a little while, and then I just kept pressing the power button. I think twice is all you do it, and it did shut it off. But uh, it does heat the water up because the water that was expelled was very hot water. You need hot water to wash dishes. My Sarasota Tim uh, coffee mug is absolutely uh, sanitized. And ready to go another day for more coffee. It's completely dry and clean in here. Uh, you would just add a regular uh, dishwasher, uh, dishwashing soap there, which I didn't do. Uh, and I think that it's a very good product. I'll get the uh, product link and add it to, this, uh, to the description. And you can get prices. You can find these on Amazon. And I'll see if there's a discount uh, using a special code. Let me go back over my email and see what uh, this company sent me. But uh, Hava makes a very nice portable dishwasher that you can use your own water source by pouring it in or a water hose or from your faucet. And I highly recommend it. It's very handsome, a piece of machinery. Uh, and it doesn't take up too much room. Does a stellar job. It definitely crushed it.